This is a video tutorial on how to use the Python console embedded in Dragonfly. This Python console can be used to inspect objects, to manipulate data, or even to test pieces of code. To open the Python console, we open the Tools menu and click on Python console menu item. And then the Python console opens at the bottom of the screen. I will start by creating a Python variable for my data set. I will call it a channel and I will use the list to identify my data set I want to use in the Python console. I will click, start dragging and drop in the Python console to get the instance from the unique identifier called the GUI ID of my instance. I can have I can access properties of that data set by typing different commands, for example, to obtain the x size of my data set by using the get x size method for which I receive the information that it has 256 voxels on his width. And these properties can be obtained from the documentation in this page or as model for all methods of of manage and of different classes we can find in Dragonfly. In that case I use a data set for which the model is named channel. We have access to the different methods of channel and of his parents. In that case the get x size was defined in the structure grid class defining all the special properties of the channel. In that case, I used get x size. I can use as well the Python console to modify the data of my channel. I'll go for example in this code snippet, defining a channel for which I already have in my Python console and then I will use these commands to modify the data in a specific area. In that case I will modify or I will overwrite the top left corner of this slice, slice uh, 51 being at index 50 when we start counting at 0. So I will get first my numpy array uh, channel dot get and the array and we have as well the signature of the method when we type the method in the Python console. I have now my numpy array. I will modify it an array and using the slicing starting with the Z index index 50 starting cutting at 0 so that it will be slice number 51. I will take all pixels from the Y going from 0 to 128 exclusive and X from 0 to 128 exclusive and I will override the value of 0. I will then take my channel set data excuse me data dirty so that now my channel has received information that the data has been modified and I will also take this okay a refresh now occurred for my view but as well I could have used this little square in the view click start dragging and dropping in the Python console to retrieve the instance of the view getting uh, using the unique identifier. My view is is this. And then I could have used a view dot refresh. Uh, I will use it in uh, another example just right now. And in this example I will use the Python console to modify multiple properties for different objects allowing me to do uh, a long task automatically instead of doing it manually. I'll have for example a few annotations. 
for which let's say I have these different colors and I want I want to set the same color to all of these annotations in a single for loop go back back to track okay so I will take all annotations I'll use the class annotation get all instances then I will go for all annotations and I will use the set normal color method to set a specific color I will first define my color as just a given color then for an annotation in all annotations I will do an annotation dot set normal color a color and just to make sure I have the correct method I will go in my from my home page or S model in annotation I can look for set normal color in the which I have my color as input argument to set the normal color of the annotation. Okay, and then still in the for loop, an annotation dot set property dirty. Then once all annotations have been modified, I will take my view and I will refresh. Enter to complete and now all my annotations have been the color has been updated for all these annotations and my view have been refreshed avoiding me to do the same task manually thank you for watching